Hello, this is Steph and welcome to this new video. Today we're going to talk about the FFmpeg and filtering. So, so far we saw FFmpeg to convert videos, we saw FFmpeg uh, with the management of the streams, uh, we saw FFmpeg to concatenate the videos, we saw FFmpeg to cut the videos to trim out piece of video. Today we're going to see something more active to the videos themselves and we're going to see the concept of applying filters, searching for the right filter, uh, seeing the parameters of the filter and how to apply these filters to obtain whatever we want. We're going to see also some simple filters like uh, cropping, flipping and rotating and so now it's time to get started. Okay, so here we are in the usual Zubuntu 2204 and we have uh, the folder where there's a FMPEG here um, already enabled. First of all, let's see what is a filter. So a filter is a computation on the video or the audio stream in order to obtain an output. Um, in FMPEG we have two kinds of filters. We have the filters and the filters complex. So the filters are the filters that accept a single type of stream and you obtain an output while the filter complex accepts multiple inputs in order to obtain an output. So we saw something like this uh, the other time while we were doing with the concatenation. We're going to see in the future how the filter complex but now let's proceed um, so step by step. First of all what are the filters available in FMPEG? So what are the filters available in FMPEG? So you can execute the program and as flag we put the minus filters. So here we have the whole list of all the filters available in the program. Uh, here as you can see we have uh, the name of the filter and uh, we have uh, so for example the logo we see that there's V arrow V so this means that uh, uh, there is a, a single video input and there is a single video output and uh, there are other for example these that uh, we have uh, multiple video streams in and a single video stream out there are also some of them dealing with uh, uh, audio that we have a and uh, in the end uh, uh, for example this a histogram uh, we have A as audio, B as video, etc, etc. So this is... Uh, and also here, the last column, we have the description of uh, the um, of the filter. So this is uh, the list of all the filters. Uh, let's take some simple ones. We said that we're going to deal with uh, the cropping. So here we have crop, crop the input video. We accept a single video stream and uh, as output we have a video stream. Then we have uh, the flip. Here we have two kinds of flip. We have the horizontal flip and the vertical flip. So each flip is right here. It's the horizontal flip. Horizontally flips the input video from video to video. And the same uh, we have a bit down below as uh, the V flip. And uh, it is uh, right here, the flip. Also, uh, we said that we have going to do with the rotate and the rotate is uh, right here. And uh, so that is all. If uh, you find uncomfortable at going with uh, the research scrolling up and down, you can either output it as a um, text or you can use uh, the grab filter in Linux or find SDR in uh, Windows. Um, so you can do, for example, grab rotate and let's see what comes out, we have uh, this rotate and rotate the input image. Okay, so let's get started at uh, seeing the parameters of uh, the filter. Okay, uh, now that we know the type of filter that we have available, um, what we can do is to inspect the parameters available. Uh, so to inspect the parameters, we've got to invoke fmpeg with the flag minus h. Minus h is uh, for help. So if you do it alone, uh, you have all the kinds of filters, uh, all, sorry, the kinds of flags that uh, um, are available. But now in this case, we have fpeg minus h filter. 
equals to the filter you want. So for example, you want to inspect the rotate and here it makes a description as inputs and outputs. Uh, we have the parameters. In this case, uh, uh, we have the parameter in uh, long mode and short mode. So angle and A do the same thing. And so one is uh, longer, the other is shorter. Uh, so this is uh, easier to type. This is easier to read. So uh, up to you can interchange the two. Um, so here, as you can see, you set the angle. So how do you uh, rotate? The picture and also how to um, so it is the um, size of the output so if you're going to rotate a video the video can't fit in the whole screen so um, what you would like to do is to um, increase or decrease the size as you want in order to contain it or more or less inside and then uh, what you're going to do is also to select the field color just in case uh, you're going to rotate uh, by um, multiple uh, an angle that is not a multiple of 90 degrees. So, for example, if you rotate uh, 30 degrees, you have some corners that uh, are not filled with video. So, what to do with this video? Do you want to leave it black? Do you want to put a certain uh, a certain color? It's up to you. And also, what kind of interpolation you like to use? So, we're going to see the interpolation later on. Uh, another moment uh, um, so it's uh, too much on the plate uh, I don't want to confuse you guys okay so once we have uh, the parameters we know how to work so uh, we can take also the crop the crop filter the crop filter has uh, the output width and height so it tells you how big will be the video in the end I can uh, you can also put the um, the um, offset from the beginning so you can crop at the top left at the center uh, somewhere so by default uh, it is uh, at the center uh, if you don't set this uh, parameter um, if you set a certain parameter here in uh, X and Y it will crop a rectangle here here and there uh, H flip and V flip don't have so the horizontal flipping and the vertical flipping don't have any parameters because they only flip the video horizontally and vertically. And uh, that's it. We have all the elements to work with uh, um, our uh, filters. Okay, now let's try to crop the video. So to crop the video, we need the specs and the input video is a uh, uh, big buck bunny also an excerpt from big buck bunny i will put the link down in the description uh, and let's first take the um, specs about the crop so the crop crop field uh, has these parameters so the out width the out height the x and y so to set an offset from which we would like to uh, crop the video from and um, there are also other flags, so you want to keep the aspect ratio of the video, so the ratio between the width and the height. And uh, the exact, so if, in, just in case you subsample, it will take the exact value and not uh, the uh, approximation of the value in the output. So, um, Okay, so let's start using it. First of all, we need to invoke FMPEG and uh, we put uh, the input file as our input file. Uh, so minus I name path or where the input file is and now it's time to enable uh, the, the filters so the filters for the videos can be enabled in two ways so we can either put minus VF or minus filter column B so we're going to set that uh, this is uh, for the video input otherwise you got to put a for the audio so B and uh, the syntax of each and every filter is like this. So um, name of the filter, then an equals sign, so crop equals. Um, after the equals, we've got to put the name of the first parameter we want to set. So in this case, we have the output width out underscore W and another equals sign. So now we're going to tell that the name of the filter is crop and uh, the name of the um, 
first parameter is out w and here we got to set the first um, the, the, name, uh, the value of this parameter. In this case, it's a, a 640. Okay, um, to separate the uh, second, to, to set the second parameter, we put the, another colon, and now we have the out h. The out h is equal to 480. Then uh, we have the x. In this case, we can put the x, uh, well, let's see that uh, something that is not at the center, so for example, the uh, zero. Then uh, also the y, we're going to put it as zero. So we're going to take the top left of uh, our video. And then we're going to take uh, uh, the new file name. So I'm going to base uh, my name on the uh, name of the input file. So I'm going to take the size that is 640 by 480. And uh, here we put also the, uh, the offsets parameters. And uh, I think we are ready. Let's see if it works. And it works. It takes quite some while because uh, the filtering don't allow a stream copy. So now we're going to um, retake the whole file and we're going to uh, rewrite it. Uh, you can set the video and audio codecs as you like. Uh, in this case, I didn't set anything, so FMPEG will understand and re-encode both the video and the audio. In this case, the audio wasn't necessary, so uh, if you would like to make the process with the audio copy, uh, that's more than fine. And now let's wait for the result. As soon as we have uh, our video ready, we should have the video cropped to the offset that we want. Okay, so now the video is ready. Uh, let's see first the input to check how the video is. So the video has a size of 1280 um, by 720. And uh, let's take a look at the size of the output file. The output file is uh, 640 by 480 and let's have a look at the video as soon as we play it so you see that the video is smaller and uh, it's a cropped size tending to be on the top left so uh, we obtain what we wanted so cool the other filter that we would like to uh, take a look at is uh, the rotate filter so now um, let's take uh, the parameters about uh, the filter so minus h i remember you um filter equal to rotate so the rotate filter we rotate uh using an angle an output size both in width and height and also the fill color so if you would like to put a color that is different than the uh, usual black uh, you can put so let's try uh, let's take the, mm, the video that we've just did, um, so the small video, and uh, so we're going to take the video with the minus i filter, uh, sorry, the minus i flag, input video, minus, uh, uh, let's try the VF, so to see that the, the uh, behavior is the same, it's only the nomenclature that is uh, slightly different. Um, so, um, here we need to rotate, so rotate equal angle, let's say an angle of 45 degrees. Uh, here in this case, uh, the angle must be in radians, not in uh, uh, angles uh, in, in divided by 360 degrees, but uh, in radians. So to put the angle in radians, we have also some constant that we can use. So we can put uh, the pi divided by uh, 180. So this is the translation from uh, angles in the usual terms into radians. Then uh, um, in this case, uh, we can also change the output width and the output height. So out with uh, W, so this is the parameter for the output width, is uh, well 80, then the out height is uh, equal to um, 720 and uh, we can also put the fill color so 
where I put the long name, if you want to put the short name, it's the same, is equal to, let's say, red. So we want the red background. And then uh, we can put the parameters. So this time, let's not forget that is is an H264 minus CA, we can copy. And then the name of the file. So in this case, uh, we can put this and then we can put our rotated uh, uh, 45 degrees. Okay, uh, so this is an arbitrary name. Uh, it's not clear at all. It's just to um, give some ideas about uh, what we've done to the input video. Okay, so let's run and let's see what is the result. Okay, now it's time to see how the rotation went. And let's open this video. And you see that the parameters are the one that we uh, wanted. So um, we have a bigger video because we set, uh, so we set it at 720 instead of the uh, previous uh, 480. Then uh, we have the video rotated by 480 degrees, the crop version as we set before, and uh, the red background. So all the parameters are correctly set. Okay, let's see some uh, the simple filters that uh, we had uh, before. Uh, that is uh, the horizontal flip or the vertical flip. So let's try with the horizontal flip that will flip the video in uh, this way. So uh, the right side left. And uh, so here FMPEG, minus I, name of the video. So let's take this. So you saw that the, the video was uh, rotating in, wins in a sense. And uh, Let's apply the field for the video. In this case, uh, uh, we want to flip. So, this flip. So here we don't have any parameters. So we, this is only the name of the field that we're going to apply on only, ah, sorry, a horizontal flip, as we said before. Then the parameters, 64 minus CA, we're going to copy. And then we have the name of the file with the name flipped. So all the flip. Cool. So again, we're going to wait until the end of the result. Uh, again, so these are all filters we need to recompress the video. Okay, let's wait for the result. Okay, so now the file is created. Now let's see what is the result. Let's open it. And you see that now it's the flip version or horizontally. So you saw that the, the um, rabbit is uh, uh, towards the left before it was towards the right. So uh, mission accomplished. We did uh, uh, what we wanted. Okay, but now uh, what we would like to do is uh, to put all these filters together. So we would like to take uh, the input, apply the cropping, then the rotation, and then the, um, the flipping. So how can we do this? So first of all, let's remove the files. So just to see that uh, the files that we have uh, uh, are not used for our, uh, for our purpose. Again, we invoke FMPEG, FMPEG with uh, this video as a uh, input, so the same uh, big buck money piece. And uh, now we're going to apply the filter, uh, uh, fil so the series of filters. And how can we put the filters? So uh, remember that uh, the crop filter requires um, the out uh, width is equal to 640. Then uh, the um, out h is equal to so the output height is for 80. Then uh, we said that uh, the x is equal to 10 and the y is equal to 10 again. Now, we have to set the second filter. To set the second filter, we put a comma and then the second filter. The second filter was a rotate. The rotator needs uh, the angle 
and the angle is uh, 45 degrees but we've got to put it in radians uh, so 45 degrees uh, clockwise is uh, 45 uh, times pi uh, divided uh, by 1080 good um, we said also that uh, the background color that was uh, the C parameter I can't remember the long parameter we put the C parameter that uh, does the same we said that we wanted it in red then comma and the, the last filter there is uh, the horizontal clip so it does all these three filters in cascade together and in the end uh, we have uh, our output file the output file uh, okay we put uh, the um, the video ah i remember um there is a uh, here after the angle we want uh, the um output width and the output height so let's put it right here out width is equal to 1280 and uh, the output uh, height is equal to 720. good so we have all the parameters now and uh, so we have the propped rotated and flipped okay so uh, let's see here it goes and now it's starting doing everything let's see after it finished if everything is okay okay our video is ready available right here and uh, let's see What's the result? The result is uh, rotated, cropped, so for, sorry, first crop, then rotated with a red background and also flipped. So everything is done like before and uh, so we are happy like this. So maybe it is better to have an approach like this where we have the cascade of all the filters all together. So the recompression is only in one step. If we make multiple files in between, we have multiple steps of recompression. So the quality of the video is getting lower and lower. So there's no chance that uh, the video is higher than uh, this approach. So this is uh, the one that uh, I would suggest. So all the, all the filters all together. Today we talked about uh, filters, uh, we saw what a filter is, we saw how to consult uh, uh, the list of filters, we saw also how to read the specs for each and every filter in order to see the parameters uh, and uh, what they mean in order to apply the uh, filter correctly. We also seen uh, the um, how to apply some of the filters, respectively crop, rotate and uh, flip. Uh, first of all, uh, so generating a file, so the output of the um, previous filter is the uh, input for the next filter. And then all the filters applied together. So this is uh, the preferred approach since uh, we apply only a single step of compression rather than three. So uh, if you reach this point, thank you so much uh, for watching. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, to my channel and uh, I'm also available in uh, social media so Instagram and TikTok and also Linktree if you would like to consult uh, the recent things that I've done. For the moment uh, um, I greet you up to the next video regarding FMPEG but also much much more. So thank you very much. Bye. Ciao. Ciao.